Hi there, this is Robert Simon from Warboard, and in this short video I would like to show you our newest uh, development that is a face gender age detection uh, Android application. Here you can see that I have a normal or basically a, a good quality uh, web camera connected to this uh, Android uh, box. This Android box is a B-Link King device, so a stronger one. But you can also use a, a, a cheaper Android uh, box for processing the video. It works as a, a black box solution, so it doesn't need to have any kind of internet connection. It, is not, uh, it doesn't need to be connected anywhere. Everything is happening on the edge, which means that only this box does the calculation. Here in the preview picture, and of course this uh, screen doesn't need to be connected uh, uh, to the uh, uh, to the media uh, box. Uh, that is just showing that uh, as it is seeing the image from or the video from this uh, other screen, it is immediately processing. The red circle means that there is a uh, female and the blue one means that there is a male. Um, the circle means that the face is looking at the camera and if the angle from the camera is more than plus minus five degrees, then you will see a rectangle. And, uh, and it shows, you know, we are calculating the, the uh, presence of the face and also the attention time. The attention time is only uh, increased when the face is looking at the screen and the uh, presence is as long as the, uh, the face presents on, uh, on the screen. So this works as a black box. It needs to, uh, the media box needs to be connected to a camera. It can be a, uh, an HD, a full HD uh, camera. And with a USB, USB serial over USB type of cable, sometimes it is called uh, cross modem or null modem cable, uh, the media player, this media player is talking to that one. It can be any kind of Android, Windows, BrightSign, Samsung uh, application and reporting two things. The first is events. Events means that actually the camera sees male, female, young, because we categorize the age. We know exactly the age, but we categorize uh, to five categories, kids, young, junior, adult, and old people, just to be able to uh, process the messages faster and easier. Um, we are also uh, reporting if the uh, face in front of the camera is smiling or not. Um, these are the events and of course all the combination of events that multiple people are in front of the camera, only one people are in front of the camera, uh, everyone is smiling, no one is smiling, someone is smiling, so it is, uh, it is a combination of, of, uh, of, of these things. And in the content editor you can uh, react on these uh, messages and change the content as you wish. So, for example, you can create a very easy solution like uh, opening the door just when somebody is smiling in front of the, the, the camera. So I go to the uh, door, the door is closed, I smile and it opens the door. Um, you can see that uh, this, uh, this is a normal web camera. If I remove it and if I plug another camera to it, let me just unplug it and this is a wide angle camera then it's going to be a, a different a, a different uh, uh, view and on the camera you can see that uh, my age I don't know what is written over there but I think it's going to be something like 40 Yes, yes, about 40. But if I am smiling like this one, then it is saying smiling. If, it, if I don't smile, then it, it, it is writing not smiling. Let me just plug the normal camera back. So I plug back the, uh, the other camera and I just turn it a little bit towards me. So here you can see that uh, 
I am about 40 years old, so I'm still young, not smiling, smiling and not smiling again. Here you can also see uh, a pink uh, rectangle, which means that in which position of the camera my face is. I'm in the right top corner, which means that as I'm moving to another place, like, like this one, you can see that it is following my, my, my face and it will also report as I am moving in front of the camera. It means that, for example, if there is a Mercedes A-class, C-class and S-class in a, in a room and it sees my face, it will immediately see that how many people are in front of the Mercedes A-class and C-class. And if there are more faces in front of the Mercedes C-class, let's play the advertisement of that one because the position of the, of the most faces is the middle center or the top right or the bottom left, something like this. So again, uh, this, is the, this is the black box standalone face gender age detection application that we are doing. And it is just connected uh, to the media player with a simple USB uh, cable. So when I plug it to, to my PC, then immediately you will see that it is uh, sending the, the uh, events uh, to my PC. So I'm in front of the camera, it is reporting these messages. When I move out of the camera, it is reporting different messages. And these are the events that you can react on. The other thing that the camera is reporting are the reports. The reports means that when there is a new face appear and when there is a new face disappear from the screen, it immediately sends a report to the connected media player that will send it over uh, to the cloud uh, for, uh, for uh, uh, putting into a database. And you will be able to create uh, a detailed report that what content, what, uh, what uh, asset, in the content was seen by, by how many people, what was the age, gender, uh, and, and, uh, and if the people were smiling in front of that content or not. So this is about our, our uh, face, gender, and age uh, detector Android application that you can, again, extend any kind of uh, uh, wallboard media players. Android, Windows, BrightSign, LG, Samsung, uh, uh, yes. And the, you can also use it as a standalone application connected directly to a third party uh, digital signage uh, media player like, like BrightSign, like Magic Info. In case of Magic Info, we can send short messages because it can just uh, uh, process them. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, so if you like this video, please follow us on our uh, YouTube and LinkedIn channel. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.